So AMIA is finally releasing their Informatics certification. And in today's video, we're going to do a breakdown of what it's all about and how to become an AMIA certified health informatics professional or HIP with a cooler name, an AHIC diplomat. So first of all, what exactly is this certification? So taking a quote from AMIA, they say, this is a program established by AMIA to address the needs by the growing number and expanding role of health informaticians and the concomitant increased impact of their work in healthcare delivery, public health, and consumer health. The AHIC program accomplishes this mission by establishing standards for professional practice, creating a fair, valid, and reliable examination process by which professionals can demonstrate their knowledge and skill, granting certification to those who meet the program's standards, and communicating the value of the credential to employers and other key constituencies. So from my understanding, it's essentially a clinically oriented informatic certification and somewhat comparable to the clinical informatics subspecialty that is limited to the American Board of Medical Specialties board certified physicians in that this AHIC certification is for everyone else, like dentists, your nurses, PA and PEs, and pharmacists. And so essentially, it's a certification of competence in health informatics. So one of the first questions you might ask yourself is, why would I spend the time and money in doing this certification? And here is a couple of reasons on why you may want it. The first of which is this is just another way of differentiating yourself from others who are in the field of health informatics. Essentially, it can make you more marketable to employers. Granted, that is arguable as this is a newer certification. So whether or not it'll make you more competitive is up for debate. However, it is offered through AMIA, which is in my opinion, uh, the most reputable organization when it comes to health informatics. Secondly, the barrier of entry uh, for this certification is lower than a master's program or postgraduate training like a residency or a fellowship in informatics. And finally, for those who enter the field of informatics, because we all have such a diverse background in how we get into informatics. I actually think it's worthwhile to pursue some type of formal training or certification as there is a lot to learn. And I think for our end users and ultimately the popula population of patients that we serve, it will benefit. When it comes to the exam itself, AMIA breaks it down into three major elements. Eligibility determination, examination to assess competence, and recertification requirements. And I'm going to cover all three of these. So starting with eligibility, there are two dimensions, a graduate degree, like a master's or doctorate, plus qualifying health informatics experience with the amount of experience required determined by the type of graduate degree that you hold. So AMIA defines qualifying experience as work that aligns with AHIC's outline of exam topics and includes evidence of the following types of tasks, which I will list below. The amount of experience you need would depend on the graduate degree you hold, and it breaks down like this. So if you have a graduate degree in health informatics or a degree with a focus in informatics, examples of this include clinical informatics, consumer health informatics, public health informatics, clinical research informatics, or translation bioinformatics. If you hold one of those degrees, then you need four years of experience within the past six years. If you spend 50 to 100% of your time working in health informatics or six years of experience within the past eight years, if you spend 20 to 49% of your time working in health informatics. Now, if you hold a graduate degree in a health informatics related field, examples of this include dentistry, nursing, medicine, pharmacy, public health, computer science, and other health professions, then the experience you need is six years of experience within the past eight years, if you spend 50 to 100% of your time working in health informatics, or eight years of experience within the past 10 years, if you spend 20 to 49% of your time working in health informatics. 
If that is confusing, no worries. The AMIA staff has created both an FAQ and certification guide with more details, which I'll link in the description below. But if you still have more questions, you can email them at certification at amia.org to ask them directly. Do not email me, because uh, I, I probably don't want to answer. Next up is the examination itself. So the format of the exam is it is a multiple choice exam consisting of 150 items. Each item will have a question and three answer options. The length of the exam is four hours long. Now for the fees, here are the fees for the exam. It can differ quite a bit depending on a few things like whether or not you're an AMIA member, if you're retaking the exam, or if you're an international candidate. Now I am fortunate that I am an AMIA member, so I'll be able to take advantage of the lower fees. And I'd certainly suggest to anyone out there that is interested in informatics to become a member of AMIA as I've personally found a lot of value in my membership to that organization. Of note, there are recertification fees every four years. Now, as for the exam topics, the exam will test you on five domains. And I'll post a link to the detailed exam guide if you wanna take a look at the details of what each domain entails. Now for recertification, those who wish to keep their AHIC certification must demonstrate both active practice and continuous learning. And this boils down to the active practice of at least 20% work time in one of the following areas. Similar to other certifications, continuing education activities are required and they are measured and reported using professional development units or PDUs and recertification will require 60 PDUs every four year period. All right, now let's talk about preparing for the exam. AMIA does provide the following recommendations when it comes to preparing for the exam and also notes that it does not approve or endorse any specific exam prep material. Now, personally, I don't find their recommendations very helpful. So preparing this for this exam should be pretty fun. However, I'll very likely be taking the exam when it first comes out. So I may end up putting together myself some review materials. I'll probably share my experience taking the exam. And of course, whether or not I pass the exam, which cross my fingers, I really do hope I pass. Uh, if you guys are interested in that content, let me know in the comments below. Which brings me to the next topic, special inaugural AHIC exam candidates. Since this is a brand new certification, those who are part of the inaugural exam candidate pool get some perks, which include number one, setting the cut score for the examination. And then number two, if they don't pass the exam the first round, they'll actually get to take the exam a second time at no cost, which is quite nice because the exam retake cost is usually $499. If you're interested, the details to be an inaugural exam candidate are as follows. The application deadline will be August 18th, 2021. And the applications for that will be opening up at the end of May, 2021. The testing period will be between September 13th and October 31st, 2021. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope this was informative. Let me know what you think about this new certification from AMIA and whether or not you plan to take it. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.